tips, tricks, ideas. More so inspiration so we can make the poop poops happen, you know what I'm saying? They're like, Julia, I hate the green. What do you do? And I'm like, I don't know, I like them. Not for you. You're in my video. It's game time and I'm up one. Name something I ain't done. Name a body that's my type. Right. Air Jordan, I'll take flight. I'm next level, I'm French. You are winner, Julia Renee. You wanna say hi or you just wanna stand there? <laughs> Come on. Good morning, buff babes and bros, and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Julia Renee, and I'm an IFBB wellness pro, and this is Vision, and he's very hyper this morning. And I wanna welcome you to the Road to Olympia series. So I figured, since right now, I have a really good amount of calories, and I'm losing weight, and I'm building muscle at the same time, that it would be beneficial and good for both of us together to do a what I eat in a day. So just a disclaimer, this is for my body, my weight, my goals only. And I just hope that you can take this as more so inspiration, not so much as what you need or should be doing. So let's start off with some breakfast. Okay, so first I am going to measure out two ounces of 93 lean turkey because we are going to be putting this at the well, inside of our omelet so that we can get more protein in. I like to add a little bit of meat to the omelet because lately it's been a little difficult to get the protein in. So I'm gonna add this to the pan and then we'll put some eggs on top. We have our turkey omelet, and then we have our bailies, and we have our Dave's Killer bagel. I picked the sweet version today. I usually have like a sweet and a savory option for the bagel, just in case I'm feeling something different. You make it so hard to get things done. Look at that face. Okay, and lastly, before I eat my breakfast, I need to mix my Opti Reds my Opti Greens and my fiber. So I do this every single morning and I take it with my morning supplements. So I have one scoop of the Opti Reds, or this is the greens. I'm colorblind, obviously. And a scoop of the Opti Reds. Boom. And some fiber. So we can make the poop poops happen, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Well, you definitely know what I'm saying if you don't have the poop poops and you struggle with digestion because it's not fun. And then go mix it up. Boop. Ooh, I splattered myself. Look, I got this little first form frother. It's super cute and blue, I like it. So this is the packet that I take the greens with. It's the Micro Factor packet and it has like everything that you need all in one pouch. It has antioxidant, multivitamin, fruits and veggies, probiotic, uh, EFA, all of the goods, goods. So I take it together. Mm. Honestly, people don't like the way the greens taste, but I like the way the greens taste. And also, 
if you mix it with the fiber, because the fiber can come in any flavor you like. They have a bunch of different flavors. I have chocolate and vanilla, so I just like switch up whichever one I want. And if you mix it with the greens, it, it makes it less terrible to drink. I like taking the greens by itself, but some people are like, they're like, Julia, I hate the greens. What do you do? And I'm like, I don't know. I like them. Maybe I'm weird. I'm going to eat this and I'll catch you guys at the next meal. Okay, so I had to add two ounces of avocado because I forgot that that's what's supposed to be in my meal for this morning. So in total, it's 558 calories. We have 61 grams of carbs, 16.8 grams of fat, and 40.2 grams of protons. I'll see you at my snack. So we are on to my snack now, which is going to be one serving of the low-fat cottage cheese and we're going to have it with an apple. I think this is a very acquired taste, but I like it because it's like savory and then sweet from the apple. And then we're also going to have a little jerky first form stick, which has more protein. One serving of this cottage cheese has 13 grams of protein in it. So if you're struggling to get protein in, adding things like this, the Dave's Killer Bread that has protein in it, um, really help you get it in without having to eat like so much food. Every time I cut an apple, they are right here, like clockwork. They know what the sound of the apple is. Okay, ready? You have to do tricks first. Come here. Sit. Come here. Sit. High five. Good boy. Sit. Good. Come here, Reese. Sit. High five. Good boy. Okay, so here is our cottage cheese and our apples. And if you want to even make it a little bit sweeter, you can add some sugar-free syrup on top, which I have been doing, and it's actually pretty good. So we have our cottage cheese and apples here, and then I have the, let's see. Not for you. The seasoned barbecue first form jerky. These are awesome because they're 20 grams of protein for one of these and they taste so good. I'll put the link down below if you guys want to grab them, but I have this flavor and there's like a jalapeno heat one. There's a couple different ones. Vision loves these so much that he always takes the wrapper out of the trash and likes to lick the wrapper. So in total for this snack or meal, it's gonna be 334 calories. 28.7 grams of carbs, 11.6 grams of fat, and 33.2 grams of protein. I will see you at our pre-workout meal. It's mine. No, I don't want to ship. Okay guys, so we are on to our pre-workout meal, which is meal number three, and we're doing something pretty basic. We're just gonna be doing Kind of like a Chipotle bowl-ish, but not, because I don't have that much Mexican things like sour cream and such, but it's basically chicken and rice, you know? So what I'm gonna do, and what I have ready already, is my chicken, it's already cooked. I have our protein are in bins like this so that we can just take them and put them in the microwave and we don't have to be cooking so much. So I have this, I'm gonna put some cauliflower, um, I'm gonna put a half a cup of brown rice and then I'm gonna put even more vegetables on top, just like lettuce, just to give it some crunch. Okay, now that we have it out of the microwave, we have about three ounces of just some air fried cauliflower, which tastes so good. Half a cup of brown rice, and then we have five ounces of chicken. And I'm just gonna sprinkle some lettuce on top just to give it some more crunch. And something that I've been doing that I really like, I've been adding balsamic vinegar on top of it. So it's like everything has kind of some more taste to it. I don't know, that's just me personally, and it like soaks into the rice and it tastes good. 
and Louisiana hot sauce on top. This seems like a very strange meal, but it's good. Okay, so for this a whole pre-workout meal, it's 385 calories, 52 grams of carbs, 2.8 grams of fat, and 33.8 grams of protein. You're in my video. Ow, my booty. Okay, so we're getting ready to work out, and part of my what I eat in a day, I have one serving of the sour strips right before my workout. It's like the only like sweet-like thing that I get. And for four pieces, 117 calories, about 26 grams of carbs. So I have two more to eat, and my mouth is watering just talking about it. And, um... What was I gonna say about this? What was I gonna say? Oh, so my previous macros that were on the screen, whoa, for my meal, my pre-workout meal, this was included in it. So, just so we're both clear. Also, I'm probably going to need to replace this with something else um, that's around the same calories and macros because I have very sensitive teeth and I have been eating this for like a week straight every single day and my teeth are already hurting so don't tell my mom <laughs> but they're just so good like when I was little I would have candy almost every single day and I had eight cavities one time and then I had like 16 cavities one time and I just stopped eating candy because I have just really sensitive teeth I brush I floss but my teeth just be liking them cavities so if you have any ideas put it down in the comments please let me just fix this right here. Okay, so for dinner, we are going to have another bowl type thing. So we are going to have half a cup of brown rice, about three ounces of beef. Let me double check just to make sure. Three ounces of beef, the rest of the cauliflower that I cooked, and then two ounces, did I already say two ounces of avocado? I don't know, half a cup of rice. I already said that too. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. about this one. So for dinner, we have 376 calories, 33 grams of carbs, 18 grams of fat, and 21 grams of protein. Mm. I'll see y'all for dessert. Baby! I'm hungry! Can I have more food? No? Oh. This is gonna be the story of my life for the next year, right? <laughs> Basically. Okay, wow. My forehead looks so shiny. What the? <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna be making our last meal of the day, which is dessert, and I have been loving my Greek yogurt and berries. Like, it just, it feels like ice cream. It just tastes so good. So this is my favorite one. Oikos, Okios, whatever, the, whatever you wanna call it. Triple zero Greek yogurt. For one serving of this, it's 110 calories and 17 grams of protein. Zero grams of fat, 11 grams of carbs. It's the vanilla flavor, it's so freaking good. So we're gonna do a serving of this. We're gonna do about, let's see, I think it's about four ounces of some strawberries. You can pick whatever berry you like. And then we're gonna do a couple of these dried apricots. Um, I'm also gonna put some PB2 on top, like one serving of PB2, which is the powdered peanut butter. And we're ready. have our Greek yogurt and I already ate my apricots because they're really good. If you haven't tried them, they're freaking good and they're really good for digestion. Really good, it's crazy. And don't bark. There were about two. So for this dessert, it's 252 calories, 34 grams of carbs, 1.5 grams of fat and 25 grams of protons. So 
In total for today, drum roll please, we have, where is it? Ooh. 1,906 calories, 150 grams of protein, 210 grams of carbs, and 50 grams of, 51 grams of fat. So I am super happy that we are able to have this high calories at the start of the prep because we just did so well body recomping and this time, last prep, I started at like 1600 calories. So I have so much more room to play with when we start cutting calories and it's just, it's just amazing. So hope you guys enjoyed this full day of eating. You got some tips, tricks, ideas. Comment down below whatever kind of video you wanna see next. I really wanna make videos that you guys are going to enjoy this Road to Olympia series. And as always, I love you all so much and you're more powerful.